Hey everyone, I'm Alfred. Welcome back to uh, Castlevania. So this is an interesting thing. They've put uh, they put a, a skeleton above us here. Which naturally have the ability to attack diagonally and vertically. But they've um, they put him on a layer above us where we actually cannot reach him yet. Even with something like the axe, I don't even think we have enough height to get at him. Which is kind of interesting. And again, here we see the same thing. Son, please shut up. Vengeance, my baby boy, I love you, but please. Daddy's cheating at video games. Oh my god, I have to go let him out. One moment. Vengeance! Come here, my son! Vengeance! Look at him. He's stopping this LP. He's ruining it. You are actively impeding my progress through Castlevania, my son. Hey, we're back. He's such a little scamp. All right, button's back. We're good. So they have another interesting thing where he's below you. Forcing you to fight something that can attack up while you normally can't. The holy water actually allows us to. And because of the way that they stick to Simon, essentially, they keep their distance from him. You're basically able to pull them into the holy water with your body. Am I going the right way? I feel as though I've just gone backwards. Like my cat's already spent time fighting and stopping the LP. Now Vengeance has to directly abort the LP. So these are interesting. Red Skeletons. They show you in a very, very neutral position here. How they work, but they cannot be permanently killed. Just, you know, stunned for a little bit. You know, the classic skeleton enemy, like a Dry Bones. Duh. Hey, Wall Chicken. I couldn't get it because of the jump physics game, dude. Sometimes. I wonder if that's a problem of emulation. Alright, these guys. Axe Knights are a problem. They have the most health of any non-boss enemy in the game. Their axes throw and come back in like a boomerang. Uh, all in all, they're just like, they're just like such a problem. There we go. Um, that said, again, they're very defensive enemies. They stick to Simon instead of, you know, going away from him or, um, you know, advancing towards him. They stay at a very specific pace from him. Oh, God. Well, now we gotta do this with the little one. Oh, 
So you may notice that we actually just back that one off screen. There's another issue with Castlevania. Um, and by issue, I mean game design choice that makes the game a lot harder. Uh, but again, I mentioned this already, but because the stair button... Because of the confusion that the game has between the stair button and the, uh... So let's see if we can't make that a little easier on me. The stair button and the throw sub weapon button, because it's up and attack. But you hit up to go upstairs, which means it's difficult to attack normally on stairs. Uh, you can damage your head on those guys. Just a right pain of the butt. I'm trying to swear less. And here's the infamous hallway, I believe. Like you got skeletons on one side. What are you meant to do? Well, not that. Hey, I'm back. Considering I'm just starting out, I decided that I would just go through like normal. But yeah, there's so many like enemy mechanics in Castlevania 1 that are really interesting and very based on the enemies themselves, you know? Like, it is cool the way that Castlevania enemies work. That said, Holy Water still straight busted. Like, I don't care what anyone says. I think that they put that in the game, so, like, if you have it, you just win. Because it is a... Uh, it's a joke. It makes this uh, game kind of a joke. I missed that haunch. I don't want to miss it again. That was clean as heck. See, I sometimes I I almost stop swearing for emphasis, you know, and almost nice. And I almost just swear more for it's just a piece of my speech that I can't get rid of, so I'm stuck saying curses. Um but you know, I'd like to avoid that. Oh god, I hit up to attack with the... Hoy water. Jeez, oh Pete, man. Now walk into it. Yes! Easy money. Yeah, because the holy water actually spawns on this level, as long as you have it, you're good. You know, so as long as you avoid dumb things like picking up. That's a five heart. I want that. Missed it, though. Uh, something that's of note, Simon Belmont's jump does not affect his speed whatsoever. Whatever he is, Simon Belmont is going to be walking at the same speed no matter what through the entire game. It is just, uh, I don't know, but it's not exactly like a casualty of the character. Oh, God, I hit it from the wrong side. Now I can't get it. Curses. Look at that. Oh, but they gave me another one. So the way that, ah, uh, the way that those things work, one, two, and three change the number of projectiles allowed on screen. So if you have a two, you can throw two crosses or two holy waters. That allows you to throw three. All right, look at that. So yeah, um, another really subtle theme of theming, look at how the blocks are all blue and gray, and then Simon has a 
dominant, strong, powerful orange color palette. Uh, it really helps him stand out and look interesting. He pops, you know? All right. Holding out for a chicken to the end of the night. Right. Can't duck it. Okay, so that's interesting. That means that uh, one holy water is not equivalent to six whips. And again, here um, they show you the they show you the bone pillar way before it even has a chance to hit you. Yes, delicious chicken. But yeah, they show you the. Okay, here is the legendary hallway. Yep, that's uh, that's about how it goes. So you got two Axe Knights in the hallway. They're throwing all kinds of stuff at you. Ooh, the cross. Cross actually isn't bad. You know, assuming you can get it to go. This is... This is untenable, man. Well, that sucked. Uh, one moment, everyone. Hey, I'm back with relatively no headache. Although I think at one point I crashed the game. Um, yeah, so I threw a bunch of holy waters, right? And then at one point the game was just, it just read 15. And it made a awful racket, and like, I think I just must have crashed the game. Also, in the little like underside of my emulator, it read um, it read no state uh, available or something like that, and all the information at the top just blacked out, and it just said fifteen. Oh God. So you got Medusa's coming at you in a sine wave. You got Axe Knights also coming at you. But Holy Water kind of makes him a joke. So yeah, again, it's a very interesting thing because we think of these Axe Knights and the skeletons and the Medusa heads as these, you know, scary enemies as you would in a, you know, in a video game. All right. Uh -oh. Well, anyway, we think of those as scary enemies, but they aren't really. They are defensive, primarily. Uh, I'm gonna, I'm going to uh, do this off screen. Whew. And we're back. Okay. Oh god. Please don't do this to me, Death. Look at his health. Look at his health. Look at his health. Alright. Back in. Jeez, oh man. Oh gosh. It's so hard. Look at his health. It's so hard to get around the size, dude. Back in. That was awful. 
shit! Dude, that was the worst one yet. Just kill me, just kill me. I'm upset. I'm mad. <sighs> Alright. Unpause. New tactic. Why even wait for death? I hate you, man. So this thing is, uh... So, Death, uh, even though he's not, like, really a horror movie, like, character, he's a Castlevania staple. He, there's a boss fight with Death in every game at least once, I think. Uh, and they often work much like this, where Death runs around. God. Why did I think I could make it? Belmont's jump has not changed in 40 years. Um, anyway, yeah, death often just stands around in one place or, you know, a similar place and then uh, just kind of gets to work. Go to hell. <sighs> All right. Oh, there we go. I don't feel bad about cheesing you. It's hard, dude. So yeah, um, if you can get him in a good lock, like you can lock him into a loop with the holy water. I'm recording, right? Okay. <laughs> you can lock him into a loop with the holy water and uh, that's kind of the death fight down, um, because it's hard, man. It's difficult. <laughs> okay. Um, I'm going to cut the episode here. Uh, man, this game is short. Pause it. Um, whew. Uh, I'm having lots of fun playing this game and actually like proper beating it, even with cheating. Um, one thing about it, the, the reason that I'm doing like the infinite life is because I've proved that I can do it with the tools given to me in game. I'm not using things like infinite damage or health. Uh, sorry, my brain just froze there. Yes. I could theoretically beat Castlevania 1. The issue is that it's uh, tax season. I'll do more Castlevanias when I'm done with tax season, though. Uh, until then, I've been Alfred. This has been Castlevania. I'll see you guys next time. Thank you for coming by. Have a good day.